Hello and welcome to the follow-up video of the 500 subscribers video I did a week ago. In this video we will be doing the Q&A and I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway. But that will be a little further ahead in the video because I have four secrets that I want to share with you. First one, uh, let me see if I can figure it out here. Let me see. And, um, uh, nope. No. Oh, come on. It was working a second ago. Okay, wait. And, ha. No, no. Mm. Stupid thing. Okay, wait, hold on. No. Oh, come on. This, this is what, this is what I'm dealing with here, people. Come on. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, there we go. Hello there. <laughs> so, this is me. Yes, I'm the one sitting here recording all these videos for you guys that hopefully you enjoy. Uh, also the one who streams and uh, yeah, everything on this channel. Binary Vigilante is me. This guy. This, uh, the guy in the Minecraft suit. Yeah, whatever. This is me. This is one of the secrets that I wanted to share with you. A face reveal. So yeah, hello there. Um, a reason, or one of the reasons why I wanted to do one of these face reveals is because I feel like it it adds a, a deeper bond between the viewer and the content creator when the viewer kind of knows a bit more about the person they are watching. And I feel like a face reveal is really something that adds an extra bond, especially during streaming where the viewer can actually see the content creator and their face. It's not just this robot who is making this content and just playing. You can actually see the person and have a conversation easier or have a better conversation with the person. And yeah, it, I feel like it just makes the bond a lot better. So that is one of the reasons why I wanted to, to, uh, to do this. To, yeah, just show myself. Here I am outside of the, well, well, let me see. Uh, yeah. yeah. Instead of, uh, yep, there we go, that mech suit up there. <laughs> but yeah, this is me. Um, I intend to use this in my future streams. Um, as I said, as I feel like it adds this extra bond and it can add to the entertainment as well. If, for example, I play Hypixel Bed Wars and I fall off because of Fireball and you get jump scared, you will actually be able to see that reaction on my face. So I think that is something special or something extra that adds to the content as well. I don't really intend to use it on videos that much, just because I feel like I might interrupt the let's play part of the of um, of the video since I mostly do let's plays. If I did maybe roleplay or something like that, it could be interesting, or maybe a, a series where, like a horror game, if I played a horror game, for example, and there's a lot of expression and jump scares and such, then it would be interesting to have the the face cam there, but for normal videos, I don't feel like it fits quite there. I might use it for a few videos where it would fit, but other than that, I think I'm going to keep it as, as I've been doing it all the time with just the gameplay but I am going to use this when streaming as well so yeah here I am yay now with that said oh by the way we will continue with this um, because yeah why, why not we're gonna continue with this um, you will be keep seeing me for the rest of the video so that is cool also for the giveaway sorry for the Q&A it adds something special as well you, you can actually see the person answering the questions like in my opinion, in a way, I think it adds something special to it as well. But anyways, let us uh, go on to the list. I have a list over here on my second monitor, and we're going to move down. In, 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 in. Wait, there we go. Okay, welcome to the future. We will be picking up from where the old me passed me, several hours past me left off. We will continue on the list here. It is many hours from that last part about probably like 24 hours the next day basically but anyways we will continue um the next list the next the next list the next item on my list that i wanted to talk about is that is that i have launched opened created whichever you want to call it a patreon page now this page will be for the people who would like to do more than just i do say just with quotes because it really means a lot that you are here watching um, and are subscribed and all that stuff. Really appreciate all of it. Um, but the Patreon page is just for those who would like to use it and do that extra um, support. Um, if I just pull up the page here, and if I don't do that, but do that so you have something to look at, and I find it right here, 
I could tell you the tiers. I only have two tiers on there, but they're very low. Um, if anyone wanna wanna go on there and check it out, you feel free to do so. The link will be down in the description below. I'm not going to beg you to go there and and do stuff and use it and such. I'm just letting you know it's there for anyone who would like to use it. Two tiers, rank one and rank two. Tier one is one dollar. Um, what you'll get, there are rewards. Uh, what you will get um, by becoming tier one, tier one, donate a rank on my Discord server and special thanks and videos. This is something all Patreons will get. They will get a special thank you to all Patreons in my videos because if anyone actually does this, they deserve that extra um, show of appreciation, I guess you could call it. The tier two is $5. What you'll get there is the stuff from tier 1, but also a place on the supporters wall in my Minecraft survival series, which is something that I will be making. So if you do become a tier 2 donator on Patreon, you will become, you will get on this wall in my Minecraft survival series. And as I said, the previous rewards you got from tier 1. Um, Donate rank on my Discord server, tier 2, donate rank on my Discord server, actually, I will have to change that, that's, that's something I need to change. But other than that, everything is the same, again, special thanks and videos is still there, of course. So, yeah, also there's a goal in there which you might want to check out, because I think it is something that a lot of you might be interested in me reaching, so you can go ahead and check it out. So, yeah, I have made a Patreon page for those of you who wish to check it out link down below in the description and in the descriptions of future videos and streams feel free to check it out speaking of streams i have also enabled streaming donations so if you wish to support me that way you can now donate to me while i'm streaming um, doesn't matter if it's youtube or twitch it will work on youtube live streaming there will be in the description and i will try and get um, nightbot to put it in the chat occasionally as well um, a link you can use and then you can donate to, to me via the stream there. On Twitch it will be the same, it will be below the stream down with all the banners linked to my YouTube and Twitter and Discord so all that stuff, a box for that will be down there and you can use it if you wish to support me through that. Those were two, that was then, this is now three of the secrets that I wanted to tell you about. Um, before we do the Q&A, I just want to give a big shout out to Dark Prince for the huge, huge help he has done with all the thumbnails for my videos for months now. Let me see when he started. Yeah, he started making my thumbnails three months ago. So I just want to give a big shout out to him for the amazing support. Um, he does amazing work, amazing thumbnails and... Yeah, I just want to say big thanks to Dark Prince for doing so. His YouTube channel, his Twitter and his Discord is down in the description. Do go and check it out. I don't say if you want to go check it out. You need to go check it out. Um, he really deserves it. And I am very, very grateful that he um, is willing to do this. And yeah, he deserves that extra bit of shout out. So thank you. Now we are moving on to the Q&A, the exciting bit that probably a lot of you are waiting for. We will get started. I will be um, taking questions from the YouTube video first and then I will be going to my Discord server after. But before I do start, thank you for everyone for submitting your questions. Greatly appreciated. Let's take a look at them. What is better, pancakes or waffles? I like both, to be honest. I like both of them. I haven't had waffles in quite a while, but I like both of them. When did you start YouTube? Back in January, January 30th. 2018 I uploaded my first video and as the follow-up question what was your first video and or series that would be my Minecraft server review series which I only did two videos of and then I stopped it um, but that was my first video that was a Minecraft server review for Mineplex when did I tell sub to you uh, so you subscribed to me twice but it would have been, the first time would be in Royal Legion, while I was in Royal Legion. I don't remember when, but it was when I was in Royal Legion. And then she did it again in about end of February, at the start of March um, this year, 2019. When did you see you reached 500 subscribers? I honestly don't remember the exact um, moment I saw that I had. 500 subscribers, but if we take a look here at my analytics, you obviously won't be able to see this. 
but I remember reaching 500 and then dropping 2 and I dropped 2 on September the 22nd 2019 so it would probably have been around September the 20th probably yeah that would probably be the date I saw it or around there and the next one is from Spice Minds Gaming for the Q&A, what are you most excited about in the revealed 1.16 Nether update? That the Nether is getting updated, I think that is a huge thing. I don't think the Nether has had any sort of, well, huge thing added to it for a very, very long time. And the fact that they are adding new biomes and mobs and such, I really love that. Um, I did see the video, I don't remember it quite. All right, so I just pulled up the video from Mojang update highlights for the nether update um, because I don't remember it quite how it was but I do like the changes especially I see the place where the pigmen are fighting the wither skeletons I think that is an interesting feature but overall that the nether is getting an update is just huge and the new weird what are those pig cows <laughs> the new weird creatures um, with the big horns or not horns teeth or whatever it is it looks really cool but the fact that they're adding new biomes to the nether i think is great it adds a, would add a lot more to the um to the nether and i don't think the nether haven't really had any huge add-on or update or something so that they're updating the nether is for me the biggest well the main thing and the thing that i'm most excited about i don't know which part of it i'm most excited about just the fact that the nether is getting an update is amazing and i can't wait for it everything in there is exciting to me and i'm looking equally forward to all of it all right so i'm swooping in here from the future yet again mainly because that i just realized that i hadn't seen all the features for the nether update um i just saw some more details about it that I didn't see in the um, highlights video so I just wanted to say that I have now seen it and I still don't know which feature I like the most. I did see that it wasn't the pigment that had gotten a texture update it was some other mob but um, I still don't quite know which feature it is that I like the most. Again just in general that the nether is getting an update though one thing that I will like to see and will be looking forward to quite a lot is the blue fire. I think you can do a lot with that in terms of decorations and building and such. And I know it might sound weird because it, boy, it's just fire. There's biomes and everything, but I, I, I quite like how the fire looks. Um, maybe also because it's kind of like this aqua um, color thing but i don't know i like the blue fire i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to the entire update yeah i don't know which feature i like the most but i do like and look forward to the blue fire and here we have spice minds gaming again here's another one for the q a what bug would you introduce to minecraft for the 1.15 update and by bug i mean a bug map i've been thinking about this i've been thinking about two main ones that could be interesting one could be the snail um, just to have another insect into Minecraft would be interesting and maybe make it drop slime balls or something or something lower than slime balls and then if you had like nine of that you could make slime balls I don't know but I think that could be interesting another mob that probably a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this is the mosquito mainly because it would add a new threat to Minecraft and it could potentially add a threat in the daytime maybe in the forest and jungles or something I think that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe add, make it so they spawn in groups like five or three or something like that. Not have them do too much damage, but just that they're annoying like real mosquitoes. Maybe a chance when they attack you to inflict poison. I don't know, something like that. I think that would be an interesting thing. Also, it would be a new threat from the air and not just from the ground. So yeah, that I think that would be pretty interesting. What's your favorite vegetable? I don't like that many vegetables to be honest, but the ones that I know I like are onions, potatoes, carrots, and cucumbers. Those are the, probably the main ones, probably with a bit slipping my mind, but those are the four main ones I can think of right now. I don't know which is, would be my favorite. Maybe the carrot because it is kind of sweet and such, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. Those, those are the four ones that pop into my head. Also, what country do you want to visit the most? The entire world, I want to see everything. <laughs> Pizza Hut or Domino's? I, will, I don't eat at those places. Those kind of places at all, actually. So, um, I can't answer that. 
All right, so we are moving on to my Discord server. Let us begin. What country do you live in? Denmark. How did you come up with the name Binary Vigilante? It was actually something that my dad and I came up with. Um, we tried aiming for something that had to do with computers and technology, and then something like superhero themed. And so binary, because all machinery and such runs on binary code, and vigilante, it's superhero themed. A vigilante is a civilian or organization acting in a law enforcement capacity without legal authority. So we thought the combination of those two was actually pretty good, and that's what I rolled with. And so yeah, binary vigilante, it is. What was the main motivation for you to start doing stuff for YouTube? Well, before I uploaded my first video, I would record videos just because I thought it was fun to record them and to edit and add effects and that stuff. I really like that. And today, making something that brings a smile to someone's face, um, if they feel sad or upset or just eh, and the video can cheer them up or just make them happy in general, that is a huge motivation to make a difference, if you can call it that, um, make someone happy and make them smile while watching something that you've made. And also eventually, if the result of it becomes big enough and it would actually be able to live off of what YouTube would give, then it would basically be doing my hobby as my work, which would be amazing. Would you do any collabs with other YouTubers? Maybe, maybe not. I'm hoping to do more stuff with Atalantis, definitely. But with other YouTubers, I don't know, I can't say for sure. Maybe, maybe not. That's honestly not something that I can answer right now. When will you do a face reveal or are you gonna do one ever? What is your next top goal? That would be 1000 subscribers. Don't you just love it when you have gone through a list bit by bit and then you realize, oh wait, I'm missing one. Yeah, anyways, this next question, what is your overall goal for your channel? I don't really have a overall goal specifically. The only thing that would be nice is if what I got from YouTube would cover all expenses so I could actually have it as a job. So basically my hobby and my passion would become my job. That would be that would be amazing. So yeah, I could do my hobby, what I love doing and is passionate about. Um, do what I'm passionate about and have it as, well, my job, that would be amazing and a dream come true so yeah but I don't have a specific goal like a hundred thousand a hundred thousand subscribers or a million subscribers or 20 million I don't have a specific goal like that just just do it and if it's possible to get to a point where it would cover all expenses and such and would be a job in of itself that would that would be amazing how old are you 18 do you have a job in real life if so what is it I'm actually a teacher, you could say, as well as a handyman. I work at a place we call School Garden, and what we do in there is we teach parents and their children how to grow crops. So they would get, I think it's like a 3 meter by 1.5 meters of, um, of earth, and we tell them how to plant the crops. Uh, they grow like potatoes, carrots, onions, beans. Um, salad, that kind of stuff. And we teach them how to, well, plant the stuff, plant the crops, how to keep it alive and maintain it so it can grow, and then how to harvest it and then how to make the earth prepared for the next season. It's great, I love it, and I'm able to just sometimes just stop up and listen to the animals around me, the birds chirping and with no people around me, and I can just enjoy nature and it's great, it's great. So I do that and handyman stuff down there, like repairing and building stuff and yeah, handyman stuff. Will you ever do a setup tour? Maybe at 1000 subscribers, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> what is your real name? Like you didn't already know that. It's Joseph. If you have three countries to visit, which one would they be? That's hard to say because I want to see everything, but if I were to think of something, I would love to see the pyramids, the Grand Canyon and and the Niagara Falls, that, hopefully I'm not butchering that. Um, yeah, I would like to see those three places amongst a lot of other places. I would like to see everything there is to see, basically. But that's the three that I can think of right now. Who is your favorite YouTuber? I don't really have one, to be honest. Um, my mood kind of swings, so I like watching this person. And then after a 
bit of time, then I like watching that person, then I go for a while, and then I would like to watch that person. But I like to watch channels like King of Random, for example, or Breaking Trail. Breaking Trail or Brave Wilderness. I actually don't remember which one it is. The URL and the channel name is uh, is two different things. But I like watching those channels where you learn something as well, but also other channels as well. Again, my mood swings. What is your next sub goal? Again, 1000 subscribers. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? And what's your opinion on cucumbers? Uh, I don't know. I like strawberry, orange, probably lemon as well. The, the ones with a fresh, like a fresh flavor, a fresh taste. I, I like those. Vanilla as well is a good one. But um, yeah, I haven't tasted the whole flavor, so I don't know. But yeah, I, I like those. And cucumbers, they are healthy and not really much taste if you just eat them raw, but if you eat them together with something else, then then they can work for quite a lot of stuff. So I like them. How many languages do you know? I know two, Danish and English. Do you have any pets? I have two cats and one chinchilla. How many siblings do you have? None. Do you live alone or with a roommate? I live with my parents. Were you born in a different country than you live in? No. Do you like pineapple pizza? I have not tasted it, so I wouldn't know. But even if I didn't like it, I wouldn't criticize it because someone else might like it. It's not really something that is right or wrong. It's a matter of taste. What's your favorite TV show? I don't watch television actually, so yeah. Which are your favorite games other than Minecraft? I have a lot. I would not be able to pick one because again, my mood swings as well in that area. So I would not be able to say, but I play a lot of other games than Minecraft and I like a lot of other games than Minecraft. So yeah, there's a lot. Does any of your friends in real life watch or know about your channel? Yes, both friends and family. Which is your favorite animal and which species of any? I can't really put a favorite, um, to be honest, because I like all animals. And if you think pet-wise, I can't really put a specific species either, because I like all animals. Yeah, I can't really answer that specifically. What level of education did you get? I am homeschooled and self-taught. Are you planning on selling merch? I'll get to that after the Q&A. I'm going to do another modded series with Atalantis. Maybe, maybe not. We don't quite know yet. Can you play more open Hypixel parties? Maybe. Um, the main reason why I stopped doing it is just because I feel like it is very chaotic having open parties because people join and then there is, there's usually arguments in the chat and yeah, it can, it can get kind of chaotic. Not all the time, but it can get kind of chaotic. Also, the fact that if I die early on, I have to wait the entire game to spectate, which I don't feel is very entertaining. So that is why I actually don't do them that much anymore. But maybe we'll do some in the future. What is your favorite food? I don't have one. I like a lot of food and I would not be able to put a something as my favorite. What is your favorite game to stream and where do you like to stream said game? I don't know, to be honest. Um, that might actually be Minecraft. I'm not sure because there's a lot you can stream with Minecraft. Like you can stream survival, you can stream hardcore, you can stream Hypixel, you can stream PvP. I don't know which game it would be, but maybe Minecraft. And where do I like to stream that game? Minecraft, I'd probably prefer to stream on YouTube, I think. While Apex Legends and Fortnite, those kind of games, I like to stream on Twitch. Then again, it, for me, yeah, I'm not quite sure on that one, to be honest. I don't know if I have a favorite game to stream and if I have a favorite place to stream it. So, but yeah, yeah, that's all I can say about that. All right, that is the Q&A. Thank you everyone for all your questions. Greatly appreciated. It was very fun, I think, and maybe we'll do more in the future. Who knows? But anyways, I was asked, are you planning on selling merch? I actually wanted to have some ready for this video, but unfortunately I did not. And so yeah, there's not any right now, but I can say I'm working on it. I decided not to do it for this video. Well, first of all, I couldn't do it for this video. First, second, I didn't, I, that is something that is not supposed to be rushed. I need to be thorough with it and make sure everything is right and good quality and all that good stuff. So I'm working on it. When it's gonna come, I don't know, but I'll announce it when it does. So am I planning on selling much? Yeah. Now another bit of information that I would like to address is that I will no longer be accepting friends on Hypixel. The reason for that is I want my friends list to be with the, for the people that I actually do stuff with. Right now it is like 39 pages long and I don't do anything with any of the people on there. And it is just a lot of leave, join, leave, join, leave, join messages while I'm recording or streaming or just playing that I get in, in the chat and 
yeah, I just, I want my friends list to be with for the people that I actually do stuff with. It's not because I don't like any of you or want to be mean or something like that. I just need that extra, what can you call it, personal space base if you can call it that so yeah i just wanted to say let you all know also uh, in this process i will be purchasing my friends list so yeah i just wanted to let you all know of that all right the giveaway has finally ended it is time to draw a winner this is the last bit of the video we will be drawing the winner. You can see the screen here just so you can see that it is actually authentic and I just don't go in. Ah, I like this person. Click. So you can actually see the winner being chosen. All I have to do now is click on draw winners and the winner will be drawn. Let's begin. Three, two, one. One winners unpicked with 41 potential users that can win. So 41 people signed up for this. Thank you all very much for signing up for this winners to draw one let's draw and and here we have the winner of course all the sensitive stuff will be blurred out tails el cantara hopefully i'm saying your name right congratulations you won yourself a vip plus rank for the high pixel server i will be contacting you shortly congratulations on winning and for those of you who participated but did not win don't worry, we might do another one in the future, so be sure to stick around. But anyway, thank you all for very much, so very much, for participating. I think it has been great, and it's been fun. And yeah, who knows, maybe you'll win next time. But anyways, guys, that will do it for this video. Thanks again for all the questions, all the activity, all the entries for the giveaway, and all that good stuff. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And I think it has been a lot of fun. And yeah, the next subscriber goal is 1000 subscribers so once we hit that i have no idea what i'm going to do but i will have to figure something out i guess once again merch is in the works i don't know when it'll come but i'm planning on it and i'm working on it so when it's ready it's ready and i'll be sure to announce it anyways that's gonna be it for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you haven't yet and think it earned it it greatly supports the channel and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Also, be sure to ring that little bell, actually, that real little bell down there for notifications so you know when my videos go live and when I do stream and such. Speaking of streaming, be sure to follow me on Twitch as well and also my Twitter. And of course, join my Discord server. Links down in the description. And once again, one final shout out to Dark Prince for helping me with all the thumbnails. Greatly appreciate it and you should go and check him out. Out. Also, shout out to Dark Prince for actually making this recording recording room and allowing me to borrow it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the future. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.